Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to our Swiggy clone app. And recently I was just doing some cleanup on to the React app and in the into the services. It still will take some more time, but I have done a lot of things. We have this gatekeeper service, restaurant service, and Swiggy app, which is a React app. I was just uh, refactoring and adding the Tailwind config. <coughs> And the TS config is it's like a React TypeScript app, so we need a TS config, Tailwind, and I need a Cracko because I'm using Tailwind CSS with the auto prefixer post CSS, and we are using Firebase for the login. And then rest all components are kind of a sim similar. I try to struggle with a little bit of the CSS and styling, but somehow I make it the same look and feel. I still need to build a couple of more pages, but this is our landing page. Same as earlier, just with the tailwind. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I will just show you the things which we have done. Currently, there are a lot of TS lint errors. How I'm running this application by disabling them because that is the only way we can have a simple demo. Uh, because currently, what, we, what I'm going to do is totally different things. So here, we are using PNPM and NX. And what I'm planning is I need to have some packages so in the packages i can also have the typings available so i mean typescript typings i'm talking about so that we can share common typings between the apis and the front end apps so here i will be creating these packages so we have already discussed about uh, this thing that we have this monorepo setup with the help of uh, because this is a pnpm workspace and we are using nx right so we are going to take the advantage of a lot of these features. PNPM and NX we are using and what is the advantage of all these things now? Now I can create a simple packages. These are apps. All these proxy, auth, restaurant and order service which we will be building. Currently we have auth, restaurant and simple Nginx proxy. I will be adding a couple of more packages and what is the use of packages I already covered a separate playlist on the NX monorepo with the PNPM that will help you to understand what is the use of monorepo and how we can automate that through the NX NX is the monorepo tool and we have these multiple workspaces like yarn NPM and PNPM currently we are using PNPM workspace with NX monorepo tool okay what are my my plans are that currently i just somehow disable the typings uh, and just put the any everywhere just to keep our front end running otherwise obviously you need to specify the types of each and everything when you are using react typescript mm -hmm. and my uh, objective is i want to have a simple typings package available in my monorepo which i can share so i want to have a typings for each and everything so it's there, there would be no complaints okay we don't have an interface or types defined which i cannot use in the front end app react app or nextjs app or any dashboard app or the same typings because what is the api api give you a json object there is a restaurant restaurant menus okay the user session all those things are payload objects they can have their own separate types and those types i will be shared inside these packages and in this workspace what do we have we have three things we have apps i mean the workspace is contains of apps and the packages if you look into the pnpm workspace yml you will get both of these things if i show you the code then you will understand here we have pnpm workspace yml here i'm saying is i have packages apps if you want to include anything else then you can put it here like okay i want to have something on the infra also wants to be as a workspace okay these packages i will be using to build utility packages okay like authentication logger i want to upload uh, files the the logos to the s3 so aws s3 aws sns these can be a small reusable packages which i can use across services currently we have a restaurant service there will be a order service delivery service so i don't want to write a logger config and database module separately because for database we are using type orm i don't want to du duplicate it so we can build them as a packages and those packages can be added as a dependency because what these workspace are workspace helps you to link the packages locally without even publishing them to the npm or git github or gitlab repository so that's a 
advantage on top of everything we just build a simple package and then we just put a we just put the package json of the auth service saying okay import uh, swiggy types right so let's say these are our packages simply let's say auth or i do already have types so i will just say because i'm using the this technology across my all packages all the applications swiggy types okay similarly i do have a logger so i will just do a swiggy logger i will also give you the demo how to build these packages not just talking about them because in the restaurant service we already had uh, examples okay how to how we have written the whole service so what i did is in the restaurant service you can see i have a config i have a database i have a logger somewhere which i just extracted out and put them inside a packages and this package is nothing just a simple uh, folder with the package json and the ts config because we need to build the package otherwise the, so let's say simple typings package what we are doing here is a simple package json the types build index.d.ts where your uh, typescript typings will go and this is the main file index.js and inside this you may have just a simple things you just write your typescript typings interface types enums and then import them to this here index.ts and then use these types in your application so let's say this is my package json once this is my version number how can i include it in my dependencies how would we do that i will just go to the package json of the target app let's say swiggy app swiggy app is a front end app but the restaurant service i will go to the package json and i will say at the rate swiggy types and this is the package version okay simple but this is the way forward we are going to use so that we can move out the reusable pieces in the applications and my bigger objective of this is first is the adding the typings common typings for the front end app and the back end app everything is the javascript typescript in the front end and back end and we can reuse we can just use these packages to make a proper interface because sometimes what happens is front end is trying to access some property which is not there that won't happen if you already know what is the back end interface what are the properties which back end is going to import the enums classes and interface and everything other than that we have this uh, auth service which is somewhat uh, i don't like much this is the gatekeeper service what it is doing is simply if you see uh, we are initializing the app module this is admin app because this is using firebase so it is initializing the app because what happens is once you do the login this authentic gatekeeper service is validating your token so this can be converted into a reusable package auth package because what happens is right now in this architecture let's say if i want to go to the restaurant service then the restaurant service is further making a call to the auth service to validate the token or if i if i'm going to the order service order service is making a call to the auth service to validate the token because we are not managing how the token is generated that is happening through the firebase and then auth services using firebase server side logic this is where the firebase come into the picture firebase admin right this is what happening but i didn't like this much because it's like external http call right now happening so what we can do is i can just add a auth package it's like an sjs module nothing to be scared of right simple code we will just put on auth services all services and then they can just do the validations by themselves they don't need to just talk to the auth service auth service we mean we will just remove the auth service in that case we will just get rid of auth service once you get the token from the firebase because firebase login is happening you can talk to any of the service will replace the auth service so but we need to build a auth package for it that package can be added in the restaurant order delivery service all the microservices we have config database logger these are like the packages we will be built that can be added in all these services i have already shown these in the demo like how to build these packages 
which we have somewhat here these are the small small packages you build these packages and then how you are exposing let's check the packages and swiggy this is packages and swiggy i mean we are using this uh, mono report tool that will help us in a lot of things okay i just rename because i'm cloning these i'm using it from this uh, uber eats clone somewhat reusable code i need to update this configs so swiggy config swiggy and this is the logger module when you refresh it it will automatically update now what we are doing let's uh, take a look on to the front end demo what we have done on the react app you will also ask but we have just upgraded some dependencies like uh, if you see the package json of the react app <coughs> i'm using Krako and then you can see react and react dom i'm just using 18.x react router dom 6.0 and uh, firebase is for authentication react redux i have planned to move it to the redux toolkit because but currently i have a lot of code which i need to take care so i'm just doing these migrations slowly other than that just the testing libraries uh, and some framer motions for the animations okay this is pretty much tailwind ts config reco and env is it's like firebase environment variables we have let's uh, see a simple demo do the login okay when i do the login it's doing a firebase login so what will happen is it will go to the landing page so from landing page i mean you can do a login from anywhere i will just do the logout here and i can do a simple login right so i have defined the routing strategies and all and i updated the react router dom i'm just showing only demo because i still need to do the code cleanup but this is pretty much we have now i just added a simple search layout also in the search now what is the important thing what we are going to do is build a restaurant service otherwise we won't be able to show the restaurants nothing is being shown here right because we don't have the restaurant service up and running i, I mean we have service but i need to migrate it to the nest gs 9.x which i have done so that restaurant service will give us the the restaurants restaurant menu dish items and all right that's the restaurant service we are building here that is already we have built last year now i need to do what uh, migration so if you see the package json it is using uh, 9.x but there are some dependency issues and imp more importantly what i'm going to do is reuse these packages config i will remove it from here database i will remove it from here this database module is same what i'm going to move it from here to the packages it's using the same uh, dynamic nest js module type or module dot for root passing the url from the config service and we are using type orm everywhere so we are good we may use prisma in one of the microservice so this is our restaurant service which we need to migrate with the packages so next i will show you the demo of how we are building these small small packages and then how we are going to add these packages in the restaurant uh, service and we need to do a cleanup on the restaurant service so these are the two major tasks i have right now is move this auth service which is just validating the token to a simple auth package and then we will talk about this uh, and we will do the live coding how, how i'm doing it and the typings is fine we will just create a package for now and then we will keep adding the types and all database logger and config we have already discussed these many times so i will just move these packages move these folders here which are already there i will say so you can see config what it is just a typescript uh, package right index.ts i'm just importing these things and this is my package looks like okay it has just a simple service which is giving me all these parameters right environment database port and all we will just keep only whatever is required from the config service database it's the same ddv module i just extracted out from the restaurant service to a separate package so no fancy magic i'm doing here logger it's the same logger service logger.ts i just extracted out inside the packages and so that 
these things can be used across all my Next.js services. So it's like a reusability I'm doing. For React and Next.js app also we will try to build reuse something like build some package or build some component library and reuse it across the other services. Okay, so next thing is, I mean, this is how our front end app is running. I can do a logout, login. We can also track the how the Redux dev toolkit, how the state management is happening across the services. But this is right now, this is pretty much two, three pages we have. Now I need to fetch the restaurants from across uh, from this service and then show you uh, down here. And then we need to do the filtering, right? That's going to be the fun. Delivery time, ratings, ascending, descending, cost high and low, ascending, descending, filters. So here we are going to use a typo RM. This is also going to be the typo RM search with the pagination. So it's going to be fun, right? There are two ways. Either you can use elastic search or either you just use a database based search. I want to keep it simple. So we are just going to, we will create the restaurant and menu items. And then here you will just enter your search keyword right and then you can just specify sort by these options okay based on the rating the average pricing for two and is it is vegetarian give me only the vegetarian so these are the filters you are going to pass from the apis okay it's not like uh, i will should give you the 100 records and you do the page you do the filtering we will fetch the live results from the api so these are like the filter params sort by filter by and the pagination limit and offset you are going to send in the api so this api is really important and people get can people get struggle people do struggle by while building a simple pagination with the search query filters and all we will write maybe a simple sql query and build the query in the type r okay so lots of new exciting things uh, so let's see that in the the next video meanwhile i will be just doing some cleanup i post all the code which i have and let's connect in the next video.